Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, today's topic is the introduction to the Remarketer system. Uh, give you some uh, background on Remarketer. Um, I wanted to source out the best in technology for websites and CRM that we could provide our agents. And we did this about a year and a half ago, um, mainly because we were heading in a different direction from corporate standpoint. Um, corporate always gives us a website and a CRM. And the website and CRM that they implemented was heavily based on lead generation at the time. And we felt um, that wasn't the direction of what we typically train and promote within our brokerage. And it's not a bad thing. It's, you know, it's there's different um, different ways that uh, you're going to get income and, and Remarketer both does both. Your CRM uh, will do your sphere of influence as well as um, lead gen, but we needed that sphere of influence system. And one of the main reasons uh, there is not a trainer or coach in the industry that won't tell you the number 85% of your business on average is going to come from people that you already know. And this is an average, right? So we do have to look at it as an average for our brokerage there are some agents that specifically go after new business and that's okay, right? You're gonna be doing open houses and prospecting and door knocking and cold calling and online lead generation to drive new business somewhere and that's good. But we also know that it's a lot easier to do business with people that already know you. So if you do have a larger sphere of influence, all you need to do is continue to build those relationships, make them stronger and then remind them that you're a real estate agent and brand yourself as that. So when they think of Robin Steele, they think of Robin, the real estate agent, right? Um, and when they think of real estate, they think, oh, Robin, he's your, he's your guy, right? And that's what you're trying to do. And there's no secret to this. Um, there is no magic formula. Um, there are lots of books and people that will gladly take your money and say, yep, take my coaching, my training, my, I, I've got the secret to this, this industry. They're all teaching the same thing, right? Build relationships, build relationships and stay in contact. So when we're looking for a CRM system, which is the client retention management system to stay in touch, we need to make sure to implement the tools and the newsletters and the reminders and these in a nice way to remind them and, and brand you as you, the realtor, their realtor. So, we were looking for a system to do that. We we're also looking for a website that was, I'm going to call, you know, I would say state-of-the-art technology. But the reality in this marketplace, if I asked any of you on the, on today's call, what is the coolest thing in the marketplace right now for the client online? You would say, okay, well, there's a few. I'm not going to say the names right now to promote them, but they, they have access to a website with sold statistics. They've got, you know, why, where are they going? Are they going to realtor.ca anymore? Or are they going to start going towards the new, so the new data technology systems that give more information, more market statistics, more education on what is happening in the marketplace. So we're, we're looking for that. And um, we're looking at that for a website and even future down the road um, and, and very soon an app that people are using, right? So uh, a lot of people are mobile now. So when we interviewed Remarker, they had it all. And they had a great CRM that was easy to use. And they had a website that was technology advanced uh, with the VOW system, virtual access websites. And uh, in the future, going to release a, a really good app, um, not just for you as, a, as an agent with us, for the company um, to have something to give to the agents so that the agents get their clients engaging with them and of course the lead stays and they've stayed engaged with you. And that was the key. So that's why Remarketer is so uh, valuable. I'm gonna go into a little more detail on that. Today's session is not a training session. Um, I, so if you're here to learn how Remarketer works in every aspect, um, you, that's not what this is. Uh, Ali does a great job every Tuesday, 10 o'clock, going over specifically how each component works. And there's a full library of uh, videos on that and join his Facebook site because they're all on there as well. Um, tons of information. What I want to do is give a, uh, a very good overview of what the system does for you so that you can take advantage of learning about the aspects and, and implementing the certain pieces of technology that the system gives you. So I'm going to do an introduction to all those systems. Um, and that's the systems that we provide at Century 21 Heritage. We're the only company that I know of that provides these systems. We built it out with Remarketer as a brokerage solution. Um, you know, down the road, they may sell that to other brokerages. That's fine. That's great. 
but we built that out with them specifically because the brands out there, and we know the big brands, they have technology, but it tip, typically agents don't engage with it because it's so brand specific and just as an overview of things, rather than being localized and targeted with the best of technology today. And they're still playing catch up and it's easier for us to pivot and move quickly on things as a smaller entity rather than with the big ship, which would be Century 21 Canada. Um, so that's why we've implemented that. Now to keep, just to, you know, to let you know as well, the Century 21's new system with Hub 21 is fantastic. It's a great system. It gives you your website. It does give you a CRM as well. And it can do some other things for you that your marketer can't do. So, but it's an addition to. So this is, um, you have the benefit of both and in your, you can engage with either or, or both. So it gives you options as well. So I hope that clears that up. Um, and what we'll do is we'll go through the overview. I'm a visual person. I like to see it in action. So we're going to spend a lot of time in Remarketer. Um, but I do have for the uh, people like notes and, and whatnot, I put some notes together just to give you an overview of the different systems. So I'm going to go through that now. And then at the end, I'll just open it up for everyone to, to chat and ask questions and, and to learn together. Um, so starting with the website, we wanted something that was easy to use and, and easy to set up. So we did not want to implement something that you could build your website and get right into everything because we know that's the 5%. If you want a fully customizable go in and code, um, Remarketer could do it, but it's not there for you to, to manipulate. So keep in mind, it is still sort of a templated website design, even though you can do some customizations, but it's easy. So if you signed up with us tomorrow, you have a website, it's built out great, it functions great, and people have a great experience. That's, that's what we wanted to provide you with. And then if you wanted to take it to the next level, you can't customize stuff. So easy to use and set up was a priority to us. Customer friendly, which means consumer friendly. Um, if they're on there searching for homes, the search is a great, um, a, a great experience. We've taken a lot of feedback over the last year as well and implemented more in the system. And I think today it's, it, it is, it's got all those upgrades, all those um, things that were suggested and it, it functions amazingly. I really think and when you compare that um, and we'll see it today, it's great. Self-hosted or the power of one, it's your choice. What that means is if you want to have, um, you know, robinsteel.com and it, be hosted, that's your website, it's actually the site, then we can do that for you. There's no extra charge. You can have robinsteel.com. You can host it on GoDaddy and it is your website, okay? That gives you the ability to have specific customization just for you. You can take it, have it forever. It's yours, you're building the SEO of your website, which means you're building the strength of your website every time you put content on it. The other option is to use the strength of the company or a bigger 700 agents. And that's what we give you right off the bat. So uh, you'll have a, a robin realtorca as a website. We're helping each other because that is um, considered hosted by a large company. So if we put content on that, we're all helping build each other's SEO, if you know what I mean, to an extent you'll still be able to build your own, but you, you know, it's, it's, it's a hosted domain by Century 21 Heritage Group. Essentially, if, uh, if you wanted to host your own, you just go into GoDaddy and you'd buy the, the domain um, and then have them put in the right, all that coding stuff to make it your own. So you have both choices. Um, Solds, uh, yes, we have the virtual office websites. It's huge for lead generation. People wanna see what the sold price of the property is. And currently it's, you're only allowed to show it if you have a virtual office website that is authorized by the Toronto Real Estate Board or your board if you're part of uh, Hamilton Board or it's so and all that kind of stuff. You can do vlogging, blogging. You can provide content to the site. Customizations are available. And then we have pre-construction uh, promoted listings. We have the ability to, um, and that's a lot of people close to the city that do pre-construction really wanted you know, something specific for pre-construction. So we have something there as well on the website and the things. The CRM is the other thing that you have. It's easy to use. We want something that's easy to use. You can put the information of the person in there, turn on nurturing, nurturing and you're, you're keeping in contact. We want it to be organized. 
um, and tagging, um, be able to tag and, and organize it. What I mean by that is if they came through an open house, you can tag that person as the person that came through open house. So you type in open house and then you can search for everybody who came through the open houses over the last six months. So I'm going to show you how that works. Um, you can create tasks, reminders, call this person in a week. It'll send you an email and remind you to call them. Automated nurturing, so turning on newsletters, turning on occasional greetings. So it's just always doing it. You don't have to set up drip campaigns and micromanage your stuff. It's easy. We want it to be easy. Um, we do offer a printed newsletter service with Homania. So if you tag it, Spotlight Print, we take care of the rest. Custom marketing, drag and drops. So videos, news, statistics, easy. Just drag it in there and it becomes uh, a, a marketing piece you can send out to your CRM. Very easy to use, very much like a quote unquote um, um, MailChimp look, if anybody's using MailChimp, it, it's the same look and feel. Uh, we wanted, uh, and this has, this is a bonus really. The one thing Remarketer did really well right from the beginning is they're the only one-stop shop for real estate statistics that they took from the Toronto Real Estate Board and presented it in a much better format so that I can go on there and say, what was the three-year price increase in new market, um, average price increase? I can click on it and it's there for me. Whereas with the TREB reports, you have to go there and actually start calculating things from their spreadsheets. So this really is a great package for real estate statistics. And then uh, the open and read statistics. So who opened the email? When did they read it? Did they, are they engaging with me? So it has that functionality that some CRMs don't have. And that is sort of an advanced feature of the CRM. And then your marketing. So you've got your websites, you've got your uh, CRM, and then now how can we provide more marketing to put your uh, listing on social media, send it out to your sphere of influence. So sending those custom marketing pieces to your contacts having it available in from YouTube as a video email. Um, we talk about BombBomb and BombBomb is, you know, it's $700 a year, $650 a year to have BombBomb. Uh, I'm currently using that. I just sent an email out today on how our new uh, virtual offers work. And I did that through uh, YouTube hosted and then put it into my remarketing site. So I was able to not need BombBomb using that, especially if you're not doing it every day. I love BombBomb by the way. I think that if you have it, as long as you're doing two or three bomb bombs every single day, it makes sense. But if you're only doing once a week, you know, this works great. So um, that you can target geographically. And I'm going to show you that today, how cool it is to just say, yeah, I want to send an email just to the people that went through the open house, just the people that are investment properties, just the people that do rent and, uh, you know, rentals. Um, so we, we can specifically target and geographically. So just the people in Newmarket, just the people in Richmond Hill, Etc. Um, local statistics we talked about, MailChimp, email we talked about, social media posts, and then weekly news articles. They um, take weekly news articles that are in the um, local uh, issues of the star and all that kind of stuff, and then they post them on your site for you. So there's always new content happening and you don't have to do anything. Okay, and you can use those in your marketing pieces as well. So without further ado, I'd like to go through the system with you. So I'm just gonna slide over um, and log into Remarketer. You're going to give me a second just to get into what we, we have an account called a sandbox account. It allows us to play with uh, the CRM. There we go. And we're in her account. I'm going to start from the top down and go through all the features so that you can see the overview of the system. And um, for those of you that have engaged, it will be a refresher. Some, some things you may not be using. So you say, oh, I didn't even know that was there. So this will be an opportunity to sort of see an overview of the system. The very first thing that they have is a, is, is a dashboard and it just keeps you up to date with what's happening and the most important things come up first. If you're using the task reminders, it tells me what I need to do today. I use this every day, just so I know everything that I'm using, I, I, I use it. Um, I preach what I play, I do what I preach or whatever it is. Um, so I actually am engaged with the system and, and love it. So this will tell me that I've got a follow up on a home evaluation with Alexandra. I need to follow up again with Antoni, um, Antolo, Antolio, anyway. Um, and if I, if I want more information, you just can click on that person and then it brings up their contact page. So this is within the system. And this is when I can go into more detail about the person, about the follow up, um, I can make notes. I can complete the follow-up by hitting view and complete. 
right? So I go in there and say, yeah, I've got to follow up on this person. Did I complete it? Yes, I did. Hit save. It goes off my task lists. And I never like to leave a person without a new task. So we'll start a new task to say that I'm going to follow up again and um, see how his, I don't know, his father is doing, right? So you can just make notes and stuff, set that reminder in the future to give him a call next Wednesday and hit save. So now I've got a new follow-up and then that'll show up on the dashboard. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard because that's just how the task reminders work. You go into the person's contact, you add a new task, you complete a task. So it's got that ability to stay in touch and remind you and organize you to who you need to call and when. The nice thing about the system and what I've, I've used so many different CRMs, right? Top producer, exact contact. Um, I, I even got into some of the lead gen with sync and follow up boss and I've used them all. And the one thing I will say, and if anybody here is currently using a CRM, I could almost guarantee you what's happened in your CRM is your pending tasks become, you forgot one day, you were too busy, you got sick. And all of a sudden you've got so many tasks com to complete that it's just, you get, it gets out of hand and then you never use it again. That's what has happened with me with almost every CRM I've been on. Because I'll tell you the reason why is because you put them on drip campaigns. So let's say Alexandra was put on a drip campaign. So it says every three weeks, call them every four weeks, send them an email every five weeks, do this, do that. And you're doing it with a hundred people. So every day you've got like 50 tasks to do and you can't keep up with it. The system doesn't work like this. Okay. You set the tasks of when to call for what purpose. And it's not just a drip campaign. I don't, I'm not a big fan of drip campaigns because I think the automation part's okay, and that's why Remarketer is so good, is that I'm gonna show you the automations that get done without you even knowing, but it shouldn't be overbearing, over too, ma too much happening, okay? So this just reminds me what I need to do today, and then the pending tasks that are coming up, and that includes future stuff, but also overdue stuff. I haven't, you know, I didn't, didn't follow up on this meeting, um, and uh, so I've got three things that are overdue, right? So the, that's the front page, helps you with your tasks, the other thing it does, as long as you got it hooked up with Google, which is in the video to show you how to do that um, on our YouTube channel, you, you connect it with Google for stats. And this tells me who's visited my site when, right? So, well, it tells me the amount of visits uh, and when. So I had uh, nine visits today. Yesterday was 22 visits, right? Um, you've got the total visits and then how many page views. That's really what you're seeing there. Okay, um, and it's it's total visits, not unique visits, it's total visits, right? How much time have they been on the site? All the Google stuff. It also tells me the traffic and source and, you know, or is it organically or is it coming direct? And where is it coming from is, you know, I've got two people that came in from Facebook, one from Twitter and seven from Instagram. So it kind of gives you some nice statistics there. Um, latest news and some of the stuff I just kind of breeze through. It really, I mean, it's nice to have but really it's not something you're gonna look at every day. You need to get some training videos. And so the email mark is neat because you can get a full log of everything that was, has been sent out from an email standpoint. Currently this is five newsletters were sent out in the last 30 days. And uh, in this section, the last 30 days, it says um, there was eight total, one opened. So only one person opened. And keep in mind, this is a sandbox account. So there's not a lot going on. Um, in mine, I've got like a thousand newsletters that went or something like that. So uh, if I want to see the full log, you can click on that and then you can actually see what happened. And that these people got a happy Mother's Day um, newsletters, right? So, and you can go in and view to see what they saw. So Chris got this happy Mother's Day card. So it's just a nice overview. It tells you who's who's been sent what, and that's on the dashboard. Um, websites, uh, anything. Oh, and the, it's got a calendar involved as well. Um, recent brokerage listings come up. So all the new new listings that's come into the brokerage. That's all on your dashboard. Brokerage Hub. Um, when we uh, open this program up, uh, one of the prerequisites I wanted to make sure is that all of our value and all our technology is in one spot. So Remarketer is a hub. It's a brokerage hub of all our technology. So tons of information this on 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 our training site on YouTube, which is right here, by the way. Um, but if we say, yeah, you've got a real satisfied account. Well, how do you get in? You click on real satisfied. If you want to get into your back at your social media, you want to order a listing package. You want to join our spotlight newsletter program, make tell, uh, tell listings or cold call service. All of it is one spot. 
most of it is single sign-on Google, right? Your Google Century 21 email address. And I say most of it, anything that is Century 21 Canada related. The other stuff, which is the things that we implement on top of Century 21, may have a different email address or no, not email address, different password, depending on what you gave it. And that would be things like MoveSnap, right? That's a specific to our company. Um, Spotlight, um, what else? Your heritage training and stuff is not, is not really password related. There's one more that we do. So it's MoveSnap, Broker Bay is, might be a little different as well, because that's not specific to Century 21, okay? Oh, a telelisting. So that's not a Century 21 Canada thing, it's a heritage thing, okay? But it's all there, it's all organized. Um, you have a training schedule below as well, it tells you what's going up right now, one o'clock, remember marketer, grow your business, it's happening. So we put that in there as well. So the brokerage hub is one stop shop. Then you get into your listing manager. And again, I'm not trying to make this um, too involved today. Um, so I'm gonna do an overview. If you want any specifics on how to use the listing manager, you're gonna to wanna to see the video on it, which is again on our YouTube channel. But what I wanted to show you is that you can bring any listing into the system that has an MLS address, right? You can, it's automated to already bring in your listings. So your listings will always come into the system and be posted on your front page or website as a featured listing. So that's the first thing, right? But if you don't have any listings, it's nice that you can add new and then just type in an MLS number and hit add and it goes on the front page of your site as a featured listing. That's okay. We're allowed to do that. We're part of, we've, we've signed up with Treb. Um, you have permission to have listings on your website. If you were to promote that listing or advertise that listing, you are now in violation of advertising somebody else's listing, right? Um, if it's within our own company, you're not gonna get in trouble by Rico, but that other agent in our company is not gonna be happy with you if you advertise their listing right? They're in control of their own listing. So if you do want to advertise somebody else's listing in our company, you just have to ask them permission. There's lots of people in our company that share listings and might want to get that out to a different demographic or a different area. So feel free. You can add the MLS. You can also put exclusive listings into the system. You can always add new development listings as well, which is uh, another feature, which is great. We've added new development for you. Any of, this, any of the platinum launches and things that we specifically do within our brokerage, and that's in our pre-construction gallery. So if you click on pre-construction, there's the gallery of all the, um, over the last year, uh, platinum VIP launches that we've done. So if you wanna add it to your website, you just hit add and it's done. It's added to the website. That's as easy as it is. Um, if you wanna make sure and see those listings on your website, at any point in time, you can go up on the right-hand side, click on the little visit website, and it brings up your website and you can see the differences you're making by clicking add, right? So this is Jane's website. There's the feature properties that would be the MLSs that you add in and these have sold since that we've added. So it has the sold information if they sign up, it's a good lead gen thing. And there's the new developments I just added, right? So as I clicked on it, it just added it to my site. And that's how easy it is to put the listings on your site. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go into the website later for the search stuff, but I just wanna show you the back end how to use it. So that is the listing manager in a nutshell. There's other things there that's kind of cool with tags and stuff, but really if you just know how to add, and, and in a lot of cases, it's just automated for you if you're, it's your own listing, which is nice. The contact manager. Um, this is where all the magic happens with your clients. This is your 85%. 85% of business done in Canada is done through repeat and referral and people you know. So it's not new business. This is where you wanna put people in. Now you can put leads in, people that you've just met uh, or maybe not even met, um, that's fine. You can put in agents even, right? So this is the full list and this list is customizable. So if you see that um, you know, you've got an email address, you got a full name, phone number, category, entry date and tags, that's what everybody sort of, that's what we figured everybody would wanna see. But let's say, we also wanted to search by, because you've got the search feature, right? So if I want all the leads, I type in lead, right? And all the leads come up. If I wanted, tags are over here, right? So if I wanted everyone that's in Century 21, I type in Century 21 and all the Century 21 comes in. So you see how it works. Anything that you see on the screen here is searchable. But within the person, there's a lot of other fields. If you want to customize that, you can arrange the columns to add new fields and search by those fields. So these are all the fields that are available. If for example, I wanted, I like city, 
So I add city. And if I want to rage where the city is, I want it next to our after full name, let's say. So go email, full name, then city, right? That's how you arrange the columns. And then you hit save down at the bottom. And now we've got the city column. column. Um, unfortunately, there's not much put in for city in here. So I always look at people's CRMs and I, I put city in there and I can tell right away how many addresses you have. And addresses are a big thing for me. Um, it's your 85%, you need addresses. So I put uh, one, one of them says Toronto. So you can search now by anybody in Toronto. But if you don't put city, you won't get it. Now, why did T-R-O-N-T-O, -T -O, there we go, Toronto. So I've got everybody in Toronto. So if you, you can imagine if you had everybody's addresses, you can now do marketing pieces specifically for that geographical area. So that's how it works there. I think it works fantastically. Um, if you do want to move things around and, you know, it's got that feature the you know, sort by, it's just got a lot of nice little things there. Um, and bulk items, like, Imagine you would have, you go through your full thing. And now I'm going to show you something in here that we do is called spotlight print. So we send a newsletter out printed, mailed for you to anybody that has spotlight print on it. Needs an address, but let's say you wanted to go through and add people to the spotlight print. So you're going to click on a bunch of people that you're adding to whatever category you want to add it to. So just do it and you can do things in bulk. So now I can tag in bulk. So I can tag everyone with spotlight print that I have selected, right? I'm gonna cancel that. But I can also, you know, edit all those at the same time. So even if I click on edit, now anybody that I've selected comes up one by one by just hitting next. That'll go through the full list of the people I selected, right? So it's got a lot of good functionality and stuff that, again, I could go in a lot more detail in the contact manager. Um, but what I wanna do, is give you an overview of how to show you how easy the system is to work with and, and the fun, some of the functionalities that I use all the time, right, with the tools and stuff. Obviously, you can export it, you can import it. Um, you know, a lot of, you can turn all the newsletters on all at once. You say everyone gets a newsletter, everyone gets a greeting. So you get a lot of bulk actions there that's uh, been really good to, to use. Um, within the individual's contact, so this is how you would add a new person. So you just hit, hit add new and then put in the person's name, right? So Mike Smith, email Mike at gmail.com. Imagine the guy that has Mike at gmail.com. Probably gets a lot of emails from just people. Anyway, uh, cell phone number, et cetera. This is where you put in all the information there. Um, the address, the city, the postal code, does they have a, do they have a spouse? We've got a new feature with letter salutations and envelope salutations. So if you're printing lists for envelopes, or letters, you know, it'll say Dear Mike or Dear Mike and Susie, stuff like that's great. Categories, you can categorize them as a prospect, like say, maybe they're a buyer source. I got them on a Facebook ad and then I could tag them as open house as well, like whatever you want to tag them as. And you put your notes in the system. So that's how you add a new person to the system. And as soon as you hit save, they'll be added. And uh, they've added a new feature that I really like. I've asked them to put what to do next so do I wanna just go to the next person? Do I wanna view the contact? Do I wanna add a new contact? So I like viewing the contact. So I've just added them. Now I wanna go in there and turn on some stuff. So I view the contact, here's Mike Smith. I can send Mike Smith a message. I can create a task, which I showed earlier. Full profile of stuff I enter in is there. Now, if you have the upgrade, you can put in their transactions if they bought and sold a house or you can put the details of that sale which also has an accounting feature, but that's locked because that's just an upgrade to the next level. Um, the important thing is that they have nurturing and to make sure to turn that on. So they're gonna get a newsletter once a month and they're gonna get greetings on each of these holidays. They say happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day, happy Halloween, happy holidays, etc. Okay, if you just do that, add Mike Smith, one person, add the newsletter and occasional greeting, they're gonna get information from you probably upwards of about 20 times a year. So that's what I was talking about by just staying in touch. Um, it sounds simple, sounds very straightforward, but you'd be surprised how many real estate agents do not engage with the people that they know enough that they're reminded, oh yeah, no, I gotta give that person a referral or yeah, you know, Robin's my guy. So 
Um, it also gives you a history within the contact of their recent email log. So if anything has been sent out recently, it would be in there, right? Um, and that's how this contact manager works. It's great. It's a set it. I, I hate to say set it and forget it because you won't, don't want to forget it, but you do want to set it up and then uh, go in and, and utilize that daily. The news and blog features of Remarketer, um, that's where uh, news articles come in automatically. So these, this is the one that was posted uh, you know, the most recently. I can add that right now to my website. I can view it. So these can be added. What it will do though, it, it will automatically add two news articles. If you go to your website and go look at the bottom, it'll have news articles right down at the bottom of your website. Okay. Just gives content to your site. Now keep in mind it's not unique content. That's a key. If you want to build the optimization so it comes up more on Google on certain topics, you're going to want to post your own news articles. And that's where you add new. And this is your blogging. This is your, I say vlogging, because if you want to add a video, you can add video, you know, from YouTube, for example. So you can do your um, original content stuff within the news and blog section. Again, I'm not going to go into news and blogs. I spend a whole hour to two hours on to teach you how to do vlogging and blogging and all this sort of stuff, but it has a great capability of being able to do that. So that's the news and blog section. Um, any news article or blog that you do in the system, it keeps track of what's on the website. So you can have certain ones on certain ones off. But the fact is, is that if you do them and you have your own stuff, as soon as you get to something called newsletters, the creativity in your newsletters, you're allowed, you can bring in content that you've already created in your blog or vlog or, and put it into a marketing piece. Now I've uh, often, very often told Ali, and if everyone can send Ali a, an email and say, Aaron's right, we should change the name of it. I think this should be changed to something like marketing pieces or something, because essentially it's not a newsletter. I mean, yes, our newsletters are in here and yes, you can create your own newsletter but you can do so much more in this section, um, especially with your CRM. So within this section, you can add a custom newsletter and it's a custom marketing piece. Okay. And these are the drag and drops. Okay. At the top. And they're great. They're really, really good. So let's say I wanted, I got a new listing. So let's say one of these is my new listing. Hit add. Happened to have sold. Fine. Let's say I sold a new listing. <laughs> so I'm doing a sold one. Um, I've, I've just, now I've brought it into a, my marketing piece. I could say and put a title in there, sold this week, right? Now it says 97% of the asking price. Keep in mind, if it does say 97% of the asking price, it is referring to a, um, uh, uh, a sold price. So you do need permission on solds. Be careful with solds. But anyway, I'm going to do solds this week. Subheader, um, new market, news. I don't know, just whatever you want to do as a, uh, a title and a subtitle. And then it creates this that you can again drag and drop. So that'll be the top of my little marketing piece. Um, I can put a report in. Let's say this was sold in new market. I can find new market and hit add. Now I've got sold and a new market um, market report. Let's say I want to put an image in there. I'd select image and upload an image. Let's say I want to put a picture of a Centurion award. <laughs> Let's say I just happen to have that in my, in my uh, section. So there I added an image. I'd say I wanted to add a video. You know, you need to have a video. This is how easy it is, right? I'm going to quickly go over to YouTube. I'm just going to select a video that I want to put in my little marketing piece. And if you have a YouTube account, you can upload your own videos. Let's say it was my podcast. So I'm going to go up and I'm just going to copy the YouTube URL at the top, YouTube uh, www. Let's turn that off and go back over and hit video and just paste that in. Now my, my uh, podcast is in there. So that's video news. I want to choose a news article. This is what you can write your own articles in your news and blog section, or just take one of the articles that's written for you. And let's say I wanted to choose that one and hit add. Now I've got an, uh, a news article in there as well. Uh, title we've gone through and buttons. Great. 
if you just want a button, say, uh, check out, I'm gonna show you how to use this. Check out my listings in Newmarket. Copy a URL at the top of the listing page for Newmarket. So here's Newmarket, this is, this is specific to a search. And I can now go back over to Remarketer and say button test, check out new markets, new listings. News markets, no, new markets. And then I'll put that landing page in. Now I've created a button that says check out new markets, new listings. And when people click it, it'll go to my website. And then these breakers are nice because it helps break up sections. So if I click on the breaker, I can put a break between the sections just to separate them a little bit, make them look a little prettier. So if you do want to do that, then you can put, like I say, breakers in between sections. So that shows you all the different things that you can use to create a marketing piece and hit generate. I told you this wouldn't be a, a, a training seminar, but I really wanted to show you this one because uh, it really creates a great marketing piece that is now, if I hit save, is saved for me to be able to send out to my contact list. And I'll just hit save. And now that's gonna be found in my newsletter section as a saved custom newsletter. And uh, I didn't call it something, so it just says monthly newsletter. But if I wanna preview it, see what it's gonna look like. There, that's what the email's gonna look like. And I'll have my marketing at the top and bottom. You can send it off to you yourself if you want even to see what it'll look like in an email or on a, on a mobile phone. So that's a great opportunity to create marketing pieces. Um, oh, let's uh, real quick. Um, I want to email that to my, to, to my content some people on my, I would, let's say I only want to email that to my leads. I'll type in leads. I'll select them all and hit send. Okay. And it'll send out my, that, that newsletter piece. That's how easy it is. Okay, so that's how you create the newsletters within the system. Um, and of course, any of these in, internally, you can see the statistics and, and see how it's done, how many people have opened it, et cetera. So that's newsletters. There is something called listing career. This is for your feature sheets and stuff. So let's say you get a new listing. So hit add new. Um, this is what you have the ability to create. And it is a custom marketing piece that you can send out for your listing as just listed, just sold, open house, um, full catalog, new development. If you wanted to do, you know, those new developments, there's somebody, a couple of people in our company currently using MailChimp to send out their new developments. And they're spending hours creating these emails in MailChimp. In here, it's as easy as selecting this one. I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to select. Right, here's my uh, campaign, I'm gonna call it, that's fine. I'm gonna select a uh, property one, it says it needs a property to, to select. So I'm just, sorry, moving my screen around. Hit continue, select a listing. It will be the Artsy Boutique. Well, there's the Artsy Boutique. I wanna show the, show the price, the address, etc. Hit continue, confirm and generate. So there is my, and it will, it'll put in the first name, last name, so to Jim Smith, Here's my new um, pre-construction at the Artsy Boutique in, in Toronto. And it's a great email. Read more, we'll click, it'll go to your website, et cetera. I'm not sure why it's got these. I gotta find the find out. It looks like it's got a bit of a, an issue with that. So you might wanna tidy that up by taking those out. But that's why we have previews, right? So it's Toronto's. Anyway, so if you do need to make some adjustments, you can. Um, and then you hit send or save, and then you hit send. Um, you go into the, it'll, it'll be a, under your listing career as one of your campaigns, new development flyers, for example, and then you can email it. I've never used the retouch feature. That's new, or at least I have, I've never seen that. I don't even know what that is. Oh, so if you wanted to go back in and touch it up because it did have those mistakes. Yeah, great. But you would select that and you would email it out to your sphere, all your people that are in your thing is like, here's all my pre-construction stuff and here's a new pre-construction. And it, it's, you know, I'd, I would be doing once a month a pre-construction one and I'd be doing a cottage one. I'd want a cottage, um, either listing courier for a cottage up north or I'd do a news and blogs or sorry, a newsletter marketing piece about cottages. Because I think we forget that people are not just buying for themselves 
but they're often looking for investment opportunities, especially with pre-construction. But also nowadays up in, geez, who, who doesn't want a cottage these days? It's gone crazy up there. So it could be an easy and quick sale for you because you send it out to 300 of your clients. One of them says, yeah, I'm interested in a cottage up north. Oh, I got a guy and I, I do have a guy, his name's Dean, up doing cottage country. I'm saying, I got a guy, Dean, he knows the area really, really well up in the Corthus. Why don't I get you in touch with him and he'll find you a cottage. And then all of a sudden you get 25% referral fee of somebody that's selling something up there for you. And you can move on and sell something down here in the areas that you know. But uh, so that's the listing courier. And then you've got greeting cards. Greeting cards is pretty straightforward. You know, if somebody's birthday and you don't have happen to have it set up in the system as a birthday, um, then you, uh, you can do a custom piece, right? Just to wish them a happy birthday. And they have different holidays, obviously, right? All that nurtured stuff, that's where this comes from. So happy Mother's Day. This was what was sent out for Mother's Day. I know sometimes one of the things with Mother's and Father's Day, the system does, it sends it to everybody, right? So you say happy Mother's Day to a father. And somebody said that, you know, I'm not a, why are you sending this to me? He says, well, you have a mother, right? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a holiday. It's for all mothers and happy Mother's Day, by the way, because we're celebrating Mother's Day. I know it's kind of, there's just no way of knowing who's a mother, who's a father in the system. So that's the only uh, the drawback to not being as specific, but, uh, but it's good for the rest of it. It's, it's you know, I, I like the nurturing aspect to, to turn that on. So this is sort of done automated for you. Uh, the business tools, I'm not going through today because the business tools is an add on. There's a $30 and that's my next slide on my little presentation for today. But there is your, the system we give you, which is your website, your CRM, sphere of influence. That's the 87, 85% of uh, all the sales in our company as well as North America. So we take care of that for you. If you want to do lead generation or you want it to manage your business, which means do the accounting, have an extra CMA feature, which is kind of neat that I'm going to show you next week. I think it's next week. The next session is the advanced features of if you upgrade. Um, that's what this, the, this stuff comes in. Okay. The analytical tools you do have access to, and these are fantastic. Um, anytime somebody wants to know, and I have often a couple of people that call me and say, Aaron, what's the... Uh, you know, I got to do a time adjustment on a market evaluation. I need to know what three year, because something sold three years ago was similar, three year increase in price of a detached or a townhouse in Richmond Hill. So I go to the market reports. You have access to only your board. So Treb is ours. So I'm going to show Treb. You get the full GTA report there. But let's say I wanted that Richmond Hill. Richmond Hill, townhouse three years growth is 23.42%. Now I can ask any one of you go on Treb stats and try and give me that number. You won't find them. This, this, this does it for you. So it's a quick and easy way to get statistics, to do CMAs, to provide reports, and to provide uh, those reports in a uh, fashion that you wanna, you wanna put it in an email, you wanna print it, put it part of your feature sheet. You can do a lot with it. So here, if I wanted that report, I'd hit download report and probably send it over to that agent. You know, here's the information about Richmond Hills townhouses, not just three years ago, but the year over year increase in the benchmark price, and then the average sold price year over year increase. Sold properties days on market, some graphs, and that breaks it down for detached, semi-detached townhouse and condo. And it's done for you, like, um, it's um, marketed for you, put your picture and everything on it. So you can download the image, which is a JPEG fail, a file, or you can download the PDF to put in a report. You, you do one of the two and, uh, and then you can post it to social and use it any way you want. Um, the observatory, which I very rarely use, so I'm gonna just click on it. I use this, so areas of interest, these are Jane Sandbox, it's her website, where they, the people that visit Jane's website are searching for properties. And in this case, there's a heavily, heavy um, search ability in that Vaughn area, okay, Thornhill specific. So the people that most people are on the Jane Sandbox site are looking for homes in this area. Kind of gives you an overview. It's a, again, it's hooked up to Google Analytics. 
And it also tell you the property visitors, which in this case is for an active listing. Oh, this is actually new. We have no active listings. Okay, so if you had an active listings, active listing, it would come up in here and you could see the total views and unique views of that listing. And I'll give you an example of how you utilize, utilize this. Um, let's say you promised somebody you would increase their, their, their views on a property above and beyond what's on realtors.ca by double. So realtor.ca has got 250 views last week. You could do a pay-per-click ad for your listing on Remarketer and then show them the statistics of that listing saying that I drove another 500 people on top of realtor.ca to our website, right? So I'm actually promoting it more than even realtor.ca is. And if you get double the amount of views, then you get double the amount of showings. And if you get double the amount of showings, double amount of offers. And we're actually, you know, the difference between the four offers I bring you and the two offers, if I didn't do all this, is could be $50,000, $100,000, right? So we can statistically prove that we doubled the amount of views, doubled the amount of offers, which get you, got you $50,000 more in, in, in price. So that's how you use statistics on your website. Um, the financial uh, analysis would have to do with the accounting feature. So that's not um, something you would use unless you've upgraded to the accounting. And then you've got a website design um, section. And this section is in beta test. Um, it, it has your current website configuration. So if there's certain things you can, certain things you can do on here, which I suggest you probably won't be using because it really kind of messes around with your homepage or your site and stuff like, you know, putting different sections and stuff. It gets pretty intense here. And I don't want to go into the details other to say that you have the ability to go in and customize your website um, to an extent, right? Move sections around, have different pages, but that would be a whole other um, two hours. So you have the website configuration. This is where you put your biography. This is where you're gonna put the information about yourself. So you're gonna create yourself and then edit the information about you. And that's gonna go on the about page, okay? When you're setting up your site, you need to do the biography. You also should add some awards, right? So add new. These pictures can be found in our drive. Okay, so we have a, an award section in our drive and you can you know, you put all your different awards on there. You can also find out if you've been with us for 20 years and you've got 20 awards, if you want to know what all those awards are so it's organized and you have the list in your production tracker on, on Google uh, when you're signed in, there's a new projection, production tracker that has the history of all your awards. So you can do that. And then your testimonials. Um, so as you add testimonials to the system, as we all know, we do testimonials through Real Satisfied. Real Satisfied creates a website for you, it drives traffic there, it shows a five-star review, it's awesome. It does what it's supposed to do and it does it really well. But on your website, you still wanna add some testimonials to it on top of what Real Satisfied does and this is where you do that. So you hit add new and then you'll put in, you know, who gave the testimonial, um, were they a buyer or seller, uh, date, and then their testimonial cut paste from Real Satisfied or from whatever that testimonial was and then whether or not you want to display on the website in what order. So if you have 10, this will be the first one that shows up. So you want to do a, one that was done recently, right? Hit save and then that will go on the front page of your website as a testimonial. And then you've got a photo library and that's where it keeps all your uploaded photos and stuff that you've uploaded um, to utilize with the rest of the site. Now, that gives a great overview of all the features in Remarketer. Um, there is training on Remarketer on how to set up and do account settings and system configuration. So it's just setting up your site, making sure all your information is correct, getting it hooked up with the analytics section, um, Google Analytics, if you wanted to hook it up with your Google Calendar. Um, it also does a little account check just to see if everything's working properly. Um, so it's got some neat little things. Your email configuration, what your headers and footers look like for different email pieces is in there. So you've got some setup stuff. My suggestion would be on the brokerage hub, if you're logged in, go to our heritage training. And the very first playlist that comes up in our YouTube videos is information on how to set up and get started with Remarketer. So there's the Remarketer. Oh, so there's the Remarketer introducing Remarketer, sign up and set up, the contact manager, brokerage hub, newsletter program. 
Um, the listing manager, managing news and blogs, custom newsletters, pre-construction, lead generation. So I've got all these things in there for you to watch if you want to get into delve into a lot more detail of each of the sections. I'm also going to re be, be posting this video as an overview as well on on uh, on YouTube. So if you need any support. On top of that, there is two other sections that you can find more information. If you go to the top right hand side and just go to system or support, there is support that Remarketer provides if you have any issues with Remarketer. Um, videos from them as well. Same thing, Google Analytics, the dashboard, the listing manager, the contact manager, news and blogs. So they have training as well. So um, whether or not you want to listen to Ali or you can listen to myself, the reason why we did our own is because we do have a unique system. We have more functions than um, the most and, and different things like the brokerage hub and the contact managers changed over the year. Uh, we've added more features to it. So, um, you know, there are things that are in ours that aren't in theirs. And even so, probably a couple of those that could even be updated because we've got more features now. So um, stay tuned for the app. That's going to be the next exciting thing uh, that we're going to be bringing out. And it's going to be very much a a good experience for a consumer, similar to what other, um, I'd say, systems are out there currently, technology providers are are starting to get on on board with some of this vow um, sold information stuff like that that the uh, consumers are starting to really enjoy. So we're going to participate in that as a brokerage and you as an agent too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open up the floor to any questions and I can show you different features and different cool things. Um, and also um, mention that the upgrade to the to the uh, accounting as well as the lead management section, which isn't on here because it's um, turned off for this account is available and if i go back over real quick to my it's going to go to the last slide here you that everything i showed you today is the webmaster this is what we give uh give all of our agents okay it gives you all the things i showed you today the business master was that upgraded uh accounting feature it does have an instant cma that's kind of cool and um some other little features here and there that's 30 dollars. So that's a 30 dollar upgrade the lead master is really turning out on overload and there's some really cool landing page uh, creators in there that I'd like to show you and that'll be coming up in the next session as well. And that's it for today. So hopefully we get this up on uh, YouTube if you need to uh, review anything. Thanks everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you like our video, please hit the like button, the subscribe, and even the little bell to get notifications just so you can stay in touch and watch more of these great videos.